Welcome into the Coaches Show, episode number eight with uh, manager Blake Lolly. Uh, thanks for doing this again, Blake. Yeah, no problem. Second half, 18 and 18, um, even 500. Your thoughts on what it's going to take to be a playoff team as we, uh, as we move down the stretch? I think uh, stay on the path we're on. We've been playing some really good baseball as of late. Um, coming off a five and one series on the road, a nice two week home stand. Um, I, I, I honestly, I like where we're at. Um, have added some arms. Um, you know, the, the lineup's still scoring runs. I, I think we're on the right path. I think, you know, we, our, our job is to win series from here on out. And I think if we do that, we're going to, you know, be where we want to be. Two main storylines I'd say in the last couple of weeks is the, you mentioned, addition of some arms, the impressive bullpen uh, performance, and uh, I guess a couple of rehabbers, right? Zach Davies comes yeah. and Gabriel Moreno today. Let's start with the bullpen arms. Um, it's been really impressive what they've done over the last month. They almost single-handedly won the series in, uh, in Sacramento, taking five of six. Why have they been so impressive, and what has impressed you the most out of the bullpen out there? Um, just, you know, especially in Sacramento, right? Like yeah. They, they did. They, we, we essentially have four bullpen days, um, out of the six games. And those guys, they accepted the challenge. They didn't be like, oh man, we're going to get run down. Like they accepted the challenge and most of them walked past me in the dugout steps and were like, let me go back out. Like they wanted the ball. They, they accepted that challenge and, and they were more than good. I mean, they were they were just really dominant. And you're right. I mean, that that series five wins was was due to them. You know, that brings me to another thought um, about your coaching philosophy. You have two rules, I think it is. What are those two rules, and explain them to us? Uh, I mean, uh, be on time and play hard. Yep. Yeah, be on time and play hard. Uh, as a player, you should have a routine that allows you to be at your best to perform every night. It doesn't mean you're gonna, you know, perform every single night. It, it's a very hard game, but I, I think, you know, being on time it, it is easy. It, it, if you're not on time, you're not prepared. And then playing hard is, is pretty much our one controllable in this game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we can go in slumps at the plate, we can go in slumps on the mound, um, but playing hard can be there every single night. And I think it's, it's a visual, it's a team identity of, of, of playing the game hard. And um, it's a must for me. If you don't play hard, you, you, you can't play for me. The other thing was rehab arms, right? So yeah. you get Zach Davies, Gabriel Moreno behind the plate. I assume you've seen a, a lot of big league rehabbers in your day. You know, it's an interesting concept in our game, right? These big stars at times come down to these small towns and fill up ballparks. What has been the place you've seen up fill the most in your time because a, uh, a rehabber came to town? Um, I think when I, when I was in low A, um, with the Peoria Chiefs, who were the Cubs, I mean, I think we had like Kerry Wood and Mark Pryor um, back in the day, and yeah, I mean, they, they fill ballparks, right? It's it's uh, it's really big names that that are are a visual on TV, right. and it's something, and they come to smaller towns, and people get to see them up close, and uh, it's it yeah, it's a cool thing, it really is. All right, we're going to do some quick hitters, if that's good with you, Blake. Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. Uh, one actor to play you in a movie. Oh. One actor. A actor to play you in a movie. <laughs> Man, you're, you're stumping me. Let's do this. Let's start with this. Your favorite movie of all time, so we can get you thinking about the other question. Probably Goodfellas. Goodfellas is a great movie. It's actually my favorite movie yeah. of all time, too. Yeah. That was, yeah, you took the easy route, just copied it. Yeah, well, no, it's Goodfellas. It, for me, it's Goodfellas and The Departed. Yeah, I, I mean, movies. Goodfellas is just like every time it's on, I got to watch it. Got to watch it. It's like The Godfather. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just, it's it, it's a great movie. It's, uh, for me, yeah, it has everything you need. In a similar vein, are you a fan of Good Will Hunting then? Uh, I, I got to be real honest. I'm not a big movie guy. There you go. I, I watch more, I knew more of like kind of the old classics and I kind of stick to my guns and like I rewatch when right. they're on TV and stuff. I'm not a big movie guy as far as like I got to see the next thing. Right. If I see it and I like it, I like it. 
So you'll rewatch movies? Yeah. And so have you thought about that other question I asked you about who would play you in a movie? It's hard. It, it's hard for me to. It's hard for you to say that, right? Yeah, it's hard for me to say that. And uh, say Tom Hanks? No. I don't know. You tell me. You know me. You've been around me enough. Like, who who would you pick to play my part? Okay, we can go with Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is a very versatile uh, actor, so <laughs> that's why I would pick him. Okay. okay. Well, we'll go with that. You got one for me, or? Uh, All right, we'll move no. on. Yeah, we'll move on. Uh, the favorite, your favorite sport you like to watch, not baseball. Uh, football. Football. Yeah, specifically Pittsburgh Steelers. Watch Pittsburgh. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Appreciate for, you. For, first preseason games all in an hour. So. Is that right? Yes. Oh well, who do they play? Uh, I believe the Buccaneers. Pickett is a, a big fan of this show, so. Uh, yeah. We'll be sure to uh, give him a shout out. Um, last thing, ping pong. Are we gonna Are we gonna get it done? Yeah, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We're getting it done. It's coming. So ping yeah, pong I'll, match between. The yeah, we just. Got to go somewhere and play. Yeah. There's plenty of tables. All right. All right. We're going to knock it out. There you go. That's the coach's show, episode number eight.